I slept okay last night. It was a little warm in the beginning. And uh, with a fan going, it was pretty loud. Um, I had to get up at one point in the night. But other than that, uh, slept okay. Everyone left pretty quiet. K-Town, double shot. A couple other people. A couple of people still are sleeping in the room, I think. Uh, and um, one lady in the main common area was sleeping on the couch. She's still there. I'll go down and maybe she's up by now. It's 8.30. Eight been up uh, for about half an hour now trying to sleep in but I couldn't quite do it much longer. Uh, it's cloudy and a little bit misty. I was hoping for more sun so my boots could dry. I could bring up my quilt and dry it out from the dampness. Um, I was finally able to connect to the wireless there but it's very poor. Very poor. And uh, searching online for hotels in the area, um, fairly expensive for what they are, and very, very low ratings. And uh, one guy even mentioned that one of the hotels I was thinking of going to, uh, about half a mile from here, that had bad internet or crappy internet. So I don't know. I've got all these videos, and I've got to get them uploaded somehow and uh, running out of options. So maybe I'll go to a hotel today and pay the price and uh, I could be worse than a hostel here, which is, you know, by donation, three bucks a night they're suggesting. So <laughs> next to nothing. But uh, yeah, I've got like 15 videos. Um, just had a granola bar for breakfast so far. There's some oranges and apples down there that one guy picked up at the grocery store and left for everyone. And uh, my granola in my bag and I guess with uh, a couple uh, burrito and good news I head off to Walmart sometime this morning hopefully. And uh, do a resupply. Probably aim for another five day resupply. I have to look at uh, not just good hook but um, uh, AWOL guide and figure out where that free supply town should be. I think Unionville is the one that was mentioned. It's like 70 miles, so it's not that terribly far. Um, and uh, as for a hotel and that type of thing, I don't know. You know, or, or in the future, uh, the next town to stop and have another zero. My leg, I'll just bring it down here. You can see where it's a little bit right in the front here. That's the one that's bothering me, so I still have that uh, elastic compression that I'll probably put on to it, but I won't be doing much walking today other than down to uh, get a hot dog and piece of apple pie at that place around the corner and uh, maybe some uh, ice cream. And uh, just walking around Walmart. Uh, boots are still damp. It wasn't dry enough to really dry them out. So they've been damp for a uh, number of days now. And uh, yeah, if it was sunny, that would be so much nicer. Nice little town. Very, very small. Um, I thought there was supposed to be a laundromat right nearby, but I didn't see one. And so washing my stuff in the sink and hanging it to dry doesn't sound like a good idea because it's not going to dry very well if there's no sun which might come on late afternoon. Uh, of course, at the hotel, they may have a, probably have a washing machine and dryer. Or you just wash in the room, hang it for the day. <sighs> Things are not quite working out the way I'd like them to. But, um, I guess they are what they are, and I have to uh, live with it. But, uh, It'd be nice if we're going through uh, a couple places where the internet was a lot better. <laughs> I'd feel better just getting that stuff off my phone and getting the Google Drive backup working so that uh, I can clear more space. So I guess I'll go have a little bit more breakfast.
your supply, just waiting for uh, the other hiker who had the car I was going to give him a ride back. And uh, good news and uh, burrito, who I don't see around. So either they went to the Burger King or they are still to come out. It took longer than I thought it would to my, myself, so. here at the uh, church on the back. A couple of guys slept here last night. It's a lot uh, cooler than the kind of warm interior of the basement that we're in in the morning. Of course, it's a little bit uh, cold. The patio or the uh, porch up here. So, let's see. After the resupply. I went through and sorted all that stuff out, put it in my bag, and uh, then at some point uh, decided to go for lunch and went down and uh, thought I'd check out the uh, the hotel and that was not far from here, just seeing the price and uh, both. A burrito and good news happened to be walking up the street, same direction. And when I mentioned it to them, she told me that uh, it was 65 for a night, which was better than 90. And uh, the place in Daleville, or whatever it's called. So I think I'll be going there tomorrow morning and uploading the rest of the videos because I uploaded one today. Because after, you know, after I, yeah, before I left for lunch, I started the upload so it was like at 12 30 and it is five o'clock and it's finally done uh it took forever and this is the best reception this corner of the building um, that i could find uh for that upload on the uh, network that we're allowed on so pretty pretty poor four or five hours worth of uploading well, actually I even tried earlier and I left the phone, came back and it was stuck in waiting mode because I think the um, wireless connection had been lost. So I waited an hour for nothing on that one. Uh, yeah, anyway, after uh, uh, saying hi to uh, Burrito and Good News and finding out about that price, I walked back and uh, saw there was a barbecue place that uh, was just a couple doors down from the uh, pie and bakery uh, place uh, where I was going to have my lunch, which was uh, just a hot dog and a piece of pie for like three bucks. It was a good deal. And uh, from there I walked back up the hill, past the church, to a nice cream parlor that was just another block away, just off the trail, that, the road that you would walk. And uh, it's an old-fashioned ice cream parlor. I wish I had the camera to have recorded it. It was very nice. And I uh, got a milkshake for like five bucks. And uh, it was enough with the container to fill the cup twice, or the glass twice, which is nice. It wasn't the thickest or best that I've ever had, but it was nice to have. Um, and then I came back here, I uh, took a nap for about an hour. Uh, it was pretty boring because there's no TV. And there, I mean, there are books, but am I gonna start to read a book and then have to stop <laughs> because I'm leaving? It was pointless. Um, no other entertainment. I guess if I had my phone, I could have done Netflix or something, or tried. Uh, actually, I couldn't even do that because I don't have the phone service down at the other building or wireless. I'd have to come up here to uh, watch anything. Uh, at least I could just sit in the shade. Um, yeah, it's been pretty boring afternoon. Really boring. Um, my leg. Now that the wrap is off, feels okay. There's just a, a tinge of uh, pain there. And the toes, they're better than yesterday, but they really need, I think, another day. And maybe uh, sticking them into an ice bath and uh, repeatedly 
uh, through the day would be beneficial after having done that type of thing with the uh, shin muscle. And um, so I'll hopefully be doing that tomorrow if they have an ice machine. Otherwise, I don't know uh, what I'll do about that. Um, I think, I think, I think, think. This is where I can cut the video and <laughs> come back to it. Uh, let me pause. Okay. So, um, the guy named Mountain Mystic is here. He's the guy I thought was kind of a meth addict at the <laughs> old schoolhouse, if you remember that. That was like uh, near the quarter mark of the trail. Um, so, he's been pumping along and he's at the hostel right now. Uh, so, when he's walking, he can walk, that's for sure. Just that when he's not walking, it's shaky and you know, picking things up and dropping things off. He uh, got dropped off by car, so I don't know if he had bypassed uh, the tough rocks that uh, may have been uh, encountered that stretch coming in. And uh, since it's five o'clock, I'll um, make up my battery pack bucked in. I'm going to go to the barbecue place and have dinner there and I will potentially have some more ice cream at the pie place or I might really super splurge go to the parlor and get a banana split or a hot fudge sundae for like $7.50 which is like $10 Canadian uh, complain 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 you're on holiday Michael enjoy yourself uh, <laughs> Uh, anyway, the weather is quite warm, it's humid, uh, I washed my shorts finally, um, and they dried pretty quick in the sun. Um, there are, uh, who uh, arrived, um, oh, what's her name, um, Sweet Tooth arrived earlier today, and uh, I think that's all for the moment. I. I guess the letters group and all that, they went on to the next shelter uh, today and continue to move north. I'll have to look at uh, AWOL some more because there is an issue with where resupplies can be available and I may have to use that uh, website called Zero Day Resupply and just order my stuff online and have it shipped to a post office in a town that I know I'm going to be in uh, a couple days before I get there which um, solves a big problem in not having to deal with uh, gas station assortment of goods and, you know, uh, very limited items. The only problem is I have to find places where the post office is conveniently located and I'm going to be there during the week when they're open and they don't have really weird hours. Uh, I'm not going to babble anymore. I'm going to let this go. And uh, next, you see me, you'll probably be at the barbecue. Uh, I don't remember. It's okay. Yeah, she's sleeping. I don't want to bother her.
half racket ribs, St. Louis style. Just falling off the bone. and I finally got another video uploaded. It took like an hour. I stopped at a place to have dessert and it looked like a 20 minute upload. And half of it went up and then started telling me I need hours and wireless kept kicking in and out. Finally I'm standing next to the bathrooms where the signal was the strongest and uh, bartender walked by a couple times and I guess she went to talk to the waitress and the waitress came to ask what was going on just as I got it done. So I'm probably going to be asked to leave or something else. Whew. Okay so two down out of 15 and it's getting late so by the time I get to the hotel, I'm sure people will be thinking about bedtime. Uh, feet are feeling okay in the shoes right now when I first put them on uh, because they dried in the sun. They were a little stiff and they didn't fit quite well. I could feel under the ankle bones again. But uh, after having them on for a while, they're much better. So, I don't know if it's the shoes fitting the feet or the feet fitting the shoes. Oof. But it's getting dark. And, uh, end of another long day. Tomorrow, to the hotel. I guess I'll see you then. Oh, I didn't mention the, the um, Mountain Mystic. Yeah, I think I did mention him. So bro, Paul is a guy who I met at uh, the old schoolhouse. I guess uh, he recognized me and he said, where did we meet? And we talked a little bit about that. Anyway, there's the town hall. Not much of a building. It's a little town, so. Okay, see you later. Oh, wow.